but line's busy. It's the waiting, you know. You never quite get used to it. Although a delay is not properly a waste of time, as there is winning in their delay. It's simply exhausting. It's its own charm, though. It's a certain calm and emptiness. You could kill for some food right now. You think John Little John is open now? As a hooker's legs. It's not like you're not doing anything, because you are. We are waiting. Just chilling, just killing time. You think that's what they say, just killing time? Such a vain expression. Except for time, of course. Time is the only one doing anything. Dying. We are just here, sitting, killing it. Which isn't amusing at all, if you ask me. Such an easy thing to kill, that we never actually stop to think about it. Fuck. At least, that's what we are pretending we are doing. Killing time. We pretend to kill something that's been bigger than us since the moment we invented the concept itself. Just as easy as that, we pretend to kill it. Ironic, isn't it? The one thing we have, never chase, and always need is time. So fundamental, yet so easy and boring to kill. Dark beer, nice juicy steak, chips on the side, and dessert. I'm already smelling it. What the fuck, asshole? Where is it? Maybe asparagus on the side. And dessert. Chocolate. Strawberry cake. Can already taste it. It says it's taking longer than expected. <coughs> and not to worry, his colleagues on top of the situation. <coughs> I think he's lying. <coughs> Have you tried your ass? He says he knows where it is, but not exactly where it is. Maybe you should have the pasta. Now he's just making excuses. Oh, excuses. The tool of incompetence. A lie wearing makeup. What's that expression? Bullshit, man. Yes, that's it. Stop talking. You never quite got that expression. I mean, both stick, sure, but still. What do you want to do? Maybe I should have. What's today's special? Fat salmon and the groovy boogie veggies. In business, the exchange of one good for another good, both of great interest, results in the mutual satisfaction of the parties involved. However, it is very common for one side, usually the weaker side, to forget or diminish one of the pilasters of a satisfactory transaction. The deadline. Do you know why they call it a deadline? You'll get new instructions. Don't call unless you have it. John Little John then? John Little John. I'm going to have the pasta and the salmon in it. Oh, I want it all. My one certainty is beer. Fuck yeah! Ah, 
Are you serious? What? <laughs> You're joking, right? What do you mean? Okay. Um, how many times have we been out drinking? Uh, no, many. Nine. How many times have you seen me drinking beer? All of them. Exactly. Do you see my point? Don't you like beer? I love beer. Everybody loves beer. Boo Boo here loves beer, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You love beer. Yes, but you're a little baby. And we don't want you to be a drunk like your daddy. Whatever, Nick. So, um, I had a job interview today. Oh, Nathan, really? How was it? Oh, yeah, it was good. And? What do you want to know about it? Yeah, duh. Yeah, I, just, I want to know everything. Tell me. How was it? Right, uh, yeah, so I got off the bus. Oh, uh, tell me you were on time. Of course I was on time, Holly. In fact, I was a couple of minutes early. And I walked into this art gallery. An art gallery? Oh, how cool is that? And? Well, did they make you wait? Yeah, they did a bit. It's like 17 hours or something. It's in those moments though that the seconds seem to really last forever. And after a while, this big bald guy came out and asked into to his office. Was this small talk or did you guys get straight to business? No, no, uh, straight to business. Huh. Fuck, watch where you're going! Sorry. Ah, give it to me, you freak. Loser. And? Well, you know, <laughs> usual questions that every interview has. Hey! You stole my fucking wallet! But, no, I was prepared for anything. And... that was it? Well, it wasn't as easy as it sounds, Holly, you know? I mean, he really wanted to know about my skills and experience. Oh, how the fuck? You know, I think what really grabbed his attention was my positive attitude. It just fascinated him. Fucking what? What did he ask you? What, what did you talk about? Oh, wait. Tell me you did not wear that black tie. No, of course not, Holly. It's not a fucking funeral, you know? Only limo drivers wear those things, you know? I didn't wear it. Tie. Anyway, so, he tried to intimidate me with some bullshit. You know, the usual interview stuff. Sorry, kid. Hey, my bike! So, what, did you get the job? Of course, babe. What are you talking about? Of course I got the job. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. So is Boo Boo. Yes, you are. Yes, we are. We are so proud of Daddy. Yes, we are so proud of him. Yeah. So, do they pay well? Is the money good? Well, they're pretty flexible with schedules, which is good. Yeah. The money could be better, but it should be enough until I find something better. What's his name? Uh, John something. John something? How, how can I help you if you don't help yourself, Nathan? What do you mean? My dad's an artist, maybe he can pull some strings. Oh, I, no, 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 no. It's, it's a small gallery, so don't even worry about it. I do worry, Nathan. I mean, we can't keep coming to these shitty places. Sure? Yeah, no, I know. I mean, I do want to do big things, you know. I just, I need to save some money first so I can run my own shit. Besides, they have good beer here. 
I don't want beer. You can't celebrate with beer. Hmm. Tip. We forgot our three-week anniversary. You can't keep doing this, Nathan. You're just breaking my heart. Holy shit. Don't say that. What? Don't curse with my name. I didn't. Yes, you did. You just did, and I'm not even repeating it. How many times have I told you not to use my name? Babe, it's not your name. It's not spelt the same. It's... I mean, is it? No, it's not Holly, as in Holly, as in Holly shit. I said don't. It's like the trip thong or something. It's a completely different don't word. Don't fucking trip thong me, smart ass. And I'm not talking about it anymore. Look, Nathan, it's really important to, you know, celebrate us. Like, I, I'm not saying let's have the biggest party of the year and I'm not asking for a fucking pony. You have a pony. Just something says I'm important to you. I know, that's why we're here to get together and celebrate, because you're important to me. We'd like beer and no press. Hey, you love beer. <laughs> My patience has its limits. Would you rather a dark beer? Just promise me that you'll never break my heart again because that is what you just did. Promise it! Alright, I promise. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, okay? I, I will never break your heart again. I hope you like it. Ah, you remember? <laughs> so I was thinking, maybe we could go celebrate in a more private way? Sure, let's finish these beers, then go grab a couple of Mai Tais. I know a place that does great Mai Tais. Then we can crash my place for some sugar, baby. No, let's go now. Uh, yeah, sure. I've got Dad's birthday party tonight. Let's go now. That sounds great. Um, but first, I want you to meet my mate, Jeff. You invited some fuck to our special day? Yeah, I want you to meet him. Who the, who the hell is Jeff? Jeff, my mate. I told you I want you to meet him. Come on. Let's leave Daddy drink. Cheap beer with a stupid friend. His daddy broke my mist twice in one day. Here's a baby. Go home, we have a shower and some valium. Yes. It's not a baby, it's not even human. Besides, he's like four, which is like 35 in human years. And I'm pretty sure that's a different dog to what you Don't had last week. You talk about boo boo like that, you crawling cunt. Don't you fucking dare even look at him. Oh, look, I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me, apologize to boo boo. It's a dog. Apologize to Boo Boo. Can we finish the conversation? Oh, you are going to regret this. Stupid dog. She's right, this is pretty bad beer. Point is, Jazz is the last free musical art form. No. Jazz used to be cool music, but then it became pretentious music. Jazz is the soul's last resort. Everything else is like plastic now. Jazz is free and honest. No, see, you're talking about punk rock music. Now that's real honest music. It's simple, and I'm talking about the good punk shit. It's starting to sound like them. Here, take this. Oh, hang on. It's Holly. Hey, babe. How are you? Nay, I'm so sorry. Maybe I overreacted a little bit. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't be silly. You didn't overreact, okay? Look, I, I'm sorry too. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> she went loony. I don't like when we're like this, you know? Like, fighting. Uh huh. So, maybe we can catch up later? Okay, sweetie, sounds great. I want to see you. Okay. Okay, I, I'll talk to you later. Okay, then. Jeff says hi. She says hi, Jeff. Love you. Love you too. Bye. You really like this shit? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Good for you. I mean, you should be a little crazy sometimes, which is a bad thing in pubs, but it's a good thing in bed. <laughs> I like that she has character. Hey, don't she's crazy. The trick is knowing what kind of craziness suits you. Does she know you're a professional thief? No. God, no, of course not. I tell can't her. tell her that. No, tell no, no. Her. she wouldn't understand. Tell her. She's a nice girl. Tell her. She's... Chicks love criminals. You don't know what you're missing. 
All I'm saying is that not even classical music has a soul nowadays. Oh, no, that's bullshit. Jazz, they make it with rules and calculators. It's shit that only jazz geeks care about. Oh, it's humanity's last resort. Aside maybe from progressive rock, which derives its basis from jazz, so I rest my case. Let's do this. Remember, attitude is everything. Get in, look menacing, and shout loud. Get the money, get out. Grab a beer, titty bar, get smashed. We'll play the tacos in the morning with a Michelada and we'll roll in my ear as usual. You're looking like a rookie. No, no, just visualizing it, that's all. Wait, no, no titty bars. I have a girlfriend now, I'm a decent guy. But food? Food sounds great. We can do this. Plan's flawless. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Are you ready? Yes, I'm fucking ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Let's do this. She's got good timing. Hey, babe. You prefer to be drinking with your friends rather than spending time with me, you little piece of shit. No, 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 it's not that. It's just we're kind of in the middle of something right now. Don't you lie to me. Put Jeff on the phone. What, like now? Put Jeff on the fucking phone. What? She wants to talk to you. I don't see the pool or the margaritas, do you? Oh, why would you do that? Don't lose your focus. Besides, chicks love to be treated bad from time to time. They love a scumbag. Back in the morning. Now, okay, let's do this. Okay, yeah, fuck it. All right. Yeah. These things are loaded, right? Of course not. Wait, what? When I kill us, we talked about this. Besides, it's safer this way. No, yeah, well, it might come in handy from time to time. It'll take a couple of shots in the air, like today, for example. All right, bullets next time. Man, this city, not easy. <laughs> you got your eyes kicked by a girl. <laughs> yeah, see my point? A few shots in the air and we could be holding a cold, delicious, refreshing beer in our hands Correction. right now. A skinny little girl. Yeah, how's your stomach? Never been better. Besides, you'd rather be talking about how I had to get in the way before a girl not bigger than a cigarette sends you to hospital. All I'm saying is, you need something bigger. You know? Bigger money. Dude, we were this close. We're all the video store. Old man runs it. It'll be easy. Besides, you don't know what it's like and I'm never going back. You're not going to prison for robbing joints like that. Exactly. We keep doing small stuff, police will leave us alone. Stay out of the loop, we can make a living off of this. Besides, it's our first time with a gun. Well, next time we're robbing a restaurant, we'll take it to the bridge. Ah. Good afternoon, ladies. What the fuck is this? I presume that's not a water gun. You're right. It's made of flesh and it pisses. Oh. 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 I need you two to listen very carefully. What the hell? This is Detective Gabriel, and I'm Detective Greenlee. Right off the loop, I mean. Now we're a dipshit. Calm down, Nathan. It's about to you need to do something for me. Hey, I pay my taxes. Where I'm standing, you're my employee. It's important. You're gonna answer that, sweetheart. Fine, yeah. Idiots. Okay, can I continue? Like I was saying. Oh. Fuck. You have no idea what's coming to you, Nathan. Just how fucking dare you treat me like this, you fucking little life piece of shit. I'm Nathan's going... busy. Fuck. No one fuck cares you. about fuck you. Fuck your family. So you have absolutely fuck no off. idea who you are dealing with. I swear to God, you. Thanks, mate. I'll, I'll turn that off now. Good. 
Someone stole a briefcase. I want you to get it back for me. What makes you think I'm a thief? Seriously? Oh, I haven't even looked at you. Can you hit him? That's my neighbour's cafe back there. It's a good cafe. Apart from the attitude, she sure makes a good espresso. Now the briefcase. I want you to steal it. Well, we haven't stolen anything. Yeah. That was the plan until you got yourself beat up by some little girl. I mean, what was she, 150 at most? I'll give him a break. She was 40 kilos of pure power. She had a weapon. Yeah. Watch out for the girl with a toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the address. No, no, don't take. Took it. Do it yourself. Oh, I'm a police officer, not a thief. There comes a time when you've got to go off road with things like this. That's when I use mice like you. Assault, robbery, illegal weapons, drug possession, stupidity charges. Oh, oh. oh come on, come on. Oh, shit. I can't believe you fell for that. I put you two shit bags away for a long time. Now, I'm not asking. Maybe you two are just too stupid to find a briefcase in a warehouse. You should thank me for having faith in you. I suppose you want this tonight, right? Yes, Forrest. Looks like after all that hitting, you actually got smart. Maybe we can punch Einstein into him. Yes, tonight. See? That was easy. Looks like we might make a wonderful team. Hey, but we need more time. Not a fast learner, but a learner. What's in the briefcase anyway? Teddy bear with a bib. Now the briefcase, tonight. Hey, we need more time to get prepared. Guess time I see the police and party justice. Shut up. There's one thing I hate more than dirty cops, is dirty cops blackmailing us. Can't do this. Yeah, well, we have no choice. Besides, uh, it's not like we can give them any old briefcase so that they don't even know what's inside. It's got my fingerprints. We have to get them off our backs. All right, here's the plan. Get in the warehouse, get the briefcase, so grab some beers. Food, please. Food. Grab some food, titty bug, get smashed. Full plate of tacos in the morning with a michelada like free men. No, no titty bars. Food sounds great. It's with you and this girl, huh? Let's just get through this. How hard can it be? Warehouse my ass. This place is so big your mum could fit in it. Are you sure this is it? Only thing built by humans in a three kilometer radius. It's gotta be it. We're never gonna get into this place. There's gotta be a way in. Oh, this is taking forever. Maybe we can shoot open a window. See? You get bullets and you want to kill a building. We've got to be quiet. Oh, come on, man. It's getting late. We just need to find a way in. See, <clears throat> told you this was gonna be easy.
Give me that flashlight. No, get your own. You stole that from a bicycle. Fucking you have heard. Bad feeling about this. Oh, you need a hug? Man up. Check this out. This is creepy. What are they? What is this place? They look like sculptures or some kind of masks. Pretty shitty ones. Seriously, dude. What is this place? Let's get the briefcase and get out of here. Why are we whispering? That's what people do when they don't have the slightest idea what's going on. This is bad. Let's do this quick and get out of here. I don't like this place. Take it easy before you break a nail, sweetheart. All right, uh, all of you, uh, to the ground, and now. Oh, I'm not getting to the ground. Fuck you. This dirty old comments. Oh, great, now we're stuck here with Mr. Stupid. Don't worry about it, honey. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. Uh, take off your shoelaces. Boy, you're going to come over here and clean my shoes. But just take them off. I bet you come over here and I'll show you some men as fuckhead. Do you even know who we are? No, uh, of course I'm not. You have no idea who we are. Do you even know what you're doing here? Hey, what the fuck, man? What are you doing? I can see you in a pancake. What are you doing? Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, there's something wrong here. Why are you so cool and you're shitting your pants? I'm sorry, I, I'm not the one who ran away. I went looking for the briefcase and got you a pair of diapers. Now tie them up. Yeah. 
closer. Who are these people? Try to touch me. Closer. Dude, I gotta get out of here. No! Help me tie them up. We need the briefcase, man. We tie them up, we get the briefcase, and we get our asses out of here. Oi! Are you dead? My sister here is talking to you! Oh, man, get your shit together. We're running this show. We have guns. <laughs> Alright, hands behind your back, douchebag. Or what, Frodo? Or I paint the wall with your brains, prick. See, that was easy. Now, let's go find the briefcase and get out of here before whoever's party this is arrives. Just Jeff, wait, we come. Come on, man, these guys are creepy. Jeff, that's Holly back there. Holly who? What do you mean, Holly who? My Holly, Holly Balatoski, my girlfriend. What, 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 that's Holly. Bielozotsky. Holly Bielozotsky. Are, are you sure? That, that, that's her. Are, are you sure? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? And they heard that granny calling Swag Blondie Colin. Oh, bro, we're in the deepest shit of the toilet. I know, right? Where are your boys? Dude, that bitch. Can I call her that? Is the daughter of Tony Bielosotsky. Sorry? AKA okay, Tony the Key. Which means we're dead, man. <laughs> oh! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? It scared me. Look, I came out of nowhere. Don't you have a heart? You just shot a puppy. <laughs> You'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Colin's here with this, would you? Sure, I'm ready. Shut up! <laughs> Fucking move it! What the fuck? How did you get here? What? You know him? Yeah. That fuck card stole my wallet this morning. I'll deal with you later, you little fuckwit. Nathan? Really? Who are you? Please. What? You know him? Oh, he's Holly's boyfriend. Holy fuck. And he broke Holly's heart. And killed Boo Boo. What? He what? Cold blooded murderer!
room right here, I'm gonna get tiny. Shh. Oh, fuck. an elephant man. He'd shoot his face if he aimed for his foot. He was sneaking through the window and a napkin and he shit his pants. <laughs> now I don't know these guys, but something tells me one of them knows me. It takes a certain amount of stupidity to break into my party, which you obviously have. But are you so stupid as to kill one of my family? He did it! Thanks, babe. Why did you do that? I like that dog. Dad. That's Nathan. Nathan. You're Nathan. Nice talking to you. Take them away. Let's have some of that delicious cake. But first, sweet dreams, asshole. Good boy, little buddy. But there's plenty of balls up there for you to play with. You'll always be my baby, Boo Boo. I'm gonna miss you so much. There'll always be a special spot in my heart for you. Bye bye, Boo Boo. You're my boy. I gotta believe you're in a better place now. I love you. And I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, my sweet friend. Sunsets will never be the same without you. Oh, dear God. We have here to mourn the tragic loss of our sweet friend, Boo Boo. Please, Lord, accept him into your heart because he truly was a soldier of your army. May you guide our hands to seek revenge on the motherfucker who did this, but he will have a life subjected to torture, trauma and pain. And may he still have my fucking freaking wallet. And may he not pass out and become unconscious or any of that other shit. Although meal breaks will come in handy, but please God, may his life be one of utter fucking misery. Amen. Um. It was beautiful, Benny. Thank you.
change anything if I say I'm sorry? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, my neck is killing me. I am very upset. Yeah, I know. Look, I just, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Yeah, I know. You're a nice guy. Do you remember when we first met? Some of it. I was, I was pretty drunk. I know. You said something, do you remember? Yeah, I said, I said I think you're so cute I just want to talk to you and buy you shit. I don't even want to have sex with you. That's how cute I think you are. And that was the most beautiful thing someone ever told me. But today, you pointed a gun at me, you shot my dog. You took my family hostage, and you almost ruined Dad's surprise birthday party. Do you know how I feel right now? No, I've no idea. Very attracted to you. What? Yeah. That's what a girl needs. A man. Girl needs a man who's in command. Who orders her what to do. Really? Mm. In the gun. The whole crook side of you is very hot. I wonder why you never told me you were like this. Girls love this kind of stuff. Really? Yeah. Sometimes a girl needs to be spanked. He turned off the dark side. Needs a little help to unleash the demon inside. Sometimes a girl needs to be tied up firmly. Needs to be controlled. I was really horny in that moment. Yeah, it's horny. Totally. But the thing is, I'm the kind of girl that runs the show. What? Was it as good for you as it was for me? What? No! No, no, no. What? No! Holly! Yeah, Holly. Yeah, I know. And you still kill Boo Boo, you loser. It was an accident. Mind fucked. She's really got you where she wants, mate. <laughs> Wrapped around her finger. I mean, if she told you to quit eating bacon, you'd do it. Bacon? I forgot how hungry I was. Oh, that was fucking weird. And yeah, you're her little bitch. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. It's just... The what? I don't know. She just really gets me with that face. This is the daughter of Tony the King. Don't forget that. Yeah, it's all because of that fucking dog. We have to get out of here right now. I had no idea that Holly was well. My kids? Yeah, a lovely girl. Even better family. There's a briefcase, and I'm assuming that's the one. We have to get it. He had a briefcase. Great. This is going to be even easier then, right? Yeah, he had a briefcase. That's the only one I've seen tonight. I mean, we have to take our chances, don't we? You have no idea what you're talking about. Why? Who are these guys? Nathan, this is Tony the Keys, the devil himself. And you obviously love that little puppy, which... It's kind of cute, by the way. You know what? I hated that dog. Yeah. I didn't feel bad about it. Really. Dude, you've never heard of Tony the Key. No, why? Should I? Yeah, because you're a professional thief. You have to know these things. <laughs> hey, what the hell is wrong with you? Nathan, Tony the Key is the biggest fish in the sea. No one messes with him. Why? What does he do? Well, he deals with the most powerful thing these days. Information! This guy knows everyone's dirty little secrets. He's got enough parliament fat cats to change the country's flag. Politicians ain't enough. 
You've got enough CEOs by the balls. Even football team owners are in favours. So that's why the Rabbitohs will never win the Premiership. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't watch the games anymore. He sells the information and uses it. He has money. And power. That's why they call him the key. That's why no one messes with him. He's the key to everything. I mean, you have to be sure which bank you're robbing. Make sure he knows you because he likes you and not because you caught in his way. He owns the city. Every connection of every important decision has to do with him in some way. When it comes down to it, we're all working for him. I heard he get started. I'm sorry, why is that important? Yeah. Whenever I see people with that much power, I always ask myself, how did they achieve that? Killing a lot of people, Nathan? Such a stupid question. <laughs> you really think it's about killing people? Hey, I'm sorry, I didn't get the joke. Maybe you care to explain it. Anyone can kill. There's no power in killing people. The question is, how do you kill them? You yeah, have no fucking idea what we are doing. What do you mean? Tony the artist. That's a lame nickname. Yeah, Holly said he was an artist. He truly is an artist. He has good stuff. You saying those pictures outside? They're his? What pictures? Those pictures outside that room. Come on, let's uh, No, I'm I have a fucking bag on my fucking head. I can't see anything. They're actually pretty cool. They're like these sculpted masks or something. And yeah, it's definitely his stuff. Pretty boring stuff. This guy believes that art comes from the guts. Oh place. shit, everyone knows art comes from the soul. Fuck no, art has to come from the heart. I mean, you can't make a good song unless it's from the heart. Music is dead, man. It's what makes us. Rock and roll killed music. Jazz is our last resort. It's jazz. Jazz is boring. That's what it is, and do not fuck with rock and roll, alright? You are so uneducated. You have no idea what you're talking about. Jazz was born and never went away. It's unique. The 60s just ruined everything, man. Psychedelic era made people think any old nonsense was music. <laughs> nonsense, so it has to be perfectly crafted in order for it to be music. Well, Bullshit. It's not perfectly uh, crafted, it's just it? for intelligent people, for educated people. Bullshit. People who know what they want to listen to. Oh my god! How long have you two been married? Oh, what do you know, bag shit face head? I'm sure you listen to disco. What shit. I know is this this guy's a clown out of the box, and you better fucking take this seriously. He makes art out of the dead. Those aren't pictures out there, those are dead people. A true criminal doesn't bluff. They look more like sculptures than corpses. Only the artist. Lame mobster. You earned that lame mobster nickname by playing Dali with the brains and blood of his victims. Now when I tell you that this guy says art comes from the guts, it's because he will literally cut you fucking open while you're still alive, pull your guts out and use it as his art. Those pictures, they are the instant record of death, pain and suffering itself. And he does it all in this complex. He owns galleries and sells his art all over the world. And sometimes, just for fun, he will record the screams of his victims and play them at his little presentations. Oh, and his family? They're his little school. His brother Uncle Benny, he's the muscle. He takes out the room. That bitch Sheila is as sick and twisted as he is. How about the kids? I don't know much about them, but what I do know is this. The same blood of those sick, twisted, demonic fucks runs through their veins. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, that Colin's a pretty tense guy. Shit, well if he's so big deal, then how come there aren't thousands of people at the party? You see, Tony the Artist or Tony the Key is a simple man. He doesn't care about expensive restaurants or cars. He is a shadow. A man without a crew cannot be betrayed. Tony has broke every rule in the criminal book as well as put his boot in the arse at every law in the world, but he lives by one single principle. The only thing in this world you have is family and you're nothing without them. Oh, fuck. Yep. Yeah, I wonder why Holly didn't invite me to the party. Don't matter now, we're all dead. I know he's going to give you the special treatment. His whole family hates you and they have more reason to kill you than anyone. 
Who are you, by the way? This guy's gonna eat us alive, so I must to get the fuck out of here right now. My advice, you do the same. Doors locked. I'm gonna go first, that's for sure. No, no, most likely be me first. They have all the reasons in the world to want to kill me now. Uh, I'm thinking you go last. I'll save the best for last. Everyone saves the best for last. I'm gonna be their warm up. You're gonna be the man of death. <laughs> yeah, but they're really fucking angry at, at me. I mean, after they're done with me, they'll probably take you with them and use you as a punching bag through the week. But me, I'm dead within the hour. Uh, you killed Boo Boo, you broke all his heart, and rocked Uncle Betty. I'll definitely take you last. I didn't kill Boo Boo. It was an honest mistake. Besides, if I was them, I would want to take my revenge as soon as possible. You ain't got nothing, mate. I think I'm gonna be first. Do <laughs> I bet? 50 bucks says that I'm first. Baghead of his life. I'll take that, man. I'll double that. Baghead goes first, you go last. Triple it. $230 says that I'm first. This is gonna be the easiest $400 I've ever made. You wish. I'm gonna go first. He said you will be his best of this. Exactly, that's my point. Time to go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> See, I told you so. <laughs> no, 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 no. Take me. I told you so. Was it so hard to say hi, I'm Peter? What? Not so much as hello. That's rude. You've got limited social skills. Say hello. What the fuck? What are you doing here? Fuck. Fuck's sake. Relax, sweetheart. I'm coming back for you. What the hell is he doing here? Damn it, how the hell does he know Gabriel? Why do you call him Peter? Oh, fuck, that's not good, man. Let's get out of here. I'm sure they'll be back very soon. Yeah, well, we still need the briefcase as well. Fucking briefcase! Why? Because he's still the other cop. We can still go to prison. No fucking cops for their fucking prisons. All right, all right. I got a plan. What are you doing here, Gabriel? I was just wondering if you could give me a job. Don't lie to me. I can tell when you're lying. Tell me the truth. It is the truth. I mean, why else would I be here? I think you are so full of shit, you spill it while you talk. How stupid do you think we are, dickwise? Colin, stop it. So you're going to try and tell me that you were not sneaking around in the middle of the night like some rat? You were going to surprise me with your resume? It sounds strange, but... It sounds stupid! And I don't like talking to stupid people. Come on, Peter. We don't want to be here all fucking night. Tony, why didn't you talk to those other two fucktards that can speak faster? What, they knew each other? Fuck yeah. You know that midget and the prick? Colin, stop it. Yeah. Start talking. Yeah, I know them, that's why I'm here. That little fuck knows everyone. Okay. Go get him. Yep. Colin, take him away. Yep. No, no, wait, no, no, I'll tell you why they're here. Okay, start talking. They came here tonight to store your briefcase. I came to stop them. What do they know about the briefcase? Are you kidding? They know everything. I shit you not, these guys, they're dangerous professionals. They look like stupid people to me. I know one of them is a complete asshole. Yeah, yeah I got that guy. Colin, language. Fucking liar. Yeah, he killed Boo Boo. Oh, language. Hmm? Exactly. I mean, they look pretty stupid, but that's just how they roll. Think about it. He's just dating your daughter, just to get closer. He killed him. How could he do that? I hate him. He came here tonight because he thought the place would be empty, right? I mean, 
nobody knew that there was going to be a party. That's true, Dad. That is very true. We kept that very close to the chest. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Ah, you fat fuck! I've always wanted to work with you. I think I'm a big fan of your work. It's amazing. I thought this would be my one chance to prove myself to you by catching those pricks from stealing from you. All right, let's go get that briefcase. Okay, Colin. Let's go get my boyfriend. Briefcase isn't there. I mean, I don't even know where we are right now. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is massive. We'll have to. We'll have to split up. Yeah. It'll be faster. That's not art. Ball sack's more artistic. You'd be fucking kidding me, that girl was no bigger than a garden gnome. Colin, call oh. Dad. Is there anything you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. So I'm not gonna be part of the gallery, right? I mean, I told you everything I know, boss. No. No, you're not. I'll be alright. But as soon as I fucking rip out their fucking livers! Fuck! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, wait, no! You're too much of a coward. Yeah. Nah, the arseholes knocked down Uncle Benny and hit the runner.
Finally. There you are. With the prick. That's good. Great. So glad you could join us. So, Nathan, uh, I think it's important that you understand what happens here. This is one of the main workshops. Although I prefer the photography lab. This is where Dad makes the art. You've seen that photo taken at the exact moment the bullet goes through the car. Well, that's not art, that's just an old man with lots of idle time. Uh, any, anyone with bullets, cards, and a camera can do that. Exactly. Welcome back, by the way. And you've seen those photos of people hanging? Yeah, sir. I've always wanted to capture deepest emotion of life itself. Death. It's not as easy as it sounds. You can't just photograph a dead man or film the process of dying. Anyone can do that. You can see it, but you won't feel it. I need to see something no one's ever seen before. Something no one's ever thought about before never even heard of. Dude, your father-in-law's a hipster. I know, that's the most part. You may capture in frames the process of dying. But when you break it down, all you get is a fraction. 24 fractions every second. So, how do you capture the journey of dying at the exact same moment it's happening? The very essence Dead. MP3? Duck face. No. What? Are you fucking retarded? I'm just a little nervous, that's all, sorry. I was being serious, actually. I die a little bit inside every time I see a girl make the duck face. I actually agree, it does sound really stupid, oh, so... Uh, you looked at other girls while we were together? Past tense. Great, you're off the hook, mate. Not until I say so. And duck face is sexy, it's just most girls don't know how to do it properly. Holy duck face looks stupid. Yeah, you girls look ugly. What's a duck face? That's when girls do these ones. Oh, that. God, it looks like they're having a rod shoved right up their asshole. You said you liked my pick, liar. Yeah, but when we were dating. We still are! I own you! And you do as I say until I say it. And if I say that we are still together, we are! Oof! Dude, is your girlfriend always like this or is she just PMSing? I am a very nice girl. And for your information, yes, I am PMS too. Oh, great. <laughs> great. Oh, great. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's what you get for being stupid, dickhead. All right. You have a special talent for pushing people's buttons. Oh, you reckon? How many times have you been hit today? You look as fresh as a lettuce. Amazing. I guess I have a hard face. It still hurts a lot, though. Gypsum. Gypsum? Gypsum? Yeah, gypsum. Very difficult to swallow and gets stuck inside the nose. It's actually thicker than water and everyone has died. It goes hard very fast and provides you with that opportunity to capture death. Stop! Uh... Oh shit! No, we won't. Go ahead. Go ahead. Alright, little man. Take a deep breath. I'll do it! Are you crazy? He's got a gun to her head! <laughs> I hope you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> now I'm taking the shot! Alright, <laughs> alright, uh, uh, go on. One. Two! Shoot her! Shoot her! I'm taking the shot, I mean it! <laughs> Two! No, shoot her! Shit! Ah! Okay, this is good. Actually, no, just... shoot her! Three! <laughs> Let's step it up, shall we? Yeah, this is good. You know, I like this, Tony. Shit! I want to record this first. Okay, sure. Yeah. Hey, Benny. Good. Benny! Take him downstairs. <laughs> Keep the face intact. <laughs> he won't bruise, he's a fucking bush pig. <laughs> okay. 
care what you do. <sighs> yeah, okay, right on. <laughs> right, no small talk, no foreplay. I've got nothing to say to you, fucked hard. So Nathan, what is your story with the briefcase? It was an accident, I promise. You might be fucking my daughter, but don't fuck with me. Dad! He says he's taking longer than expected, and not to worry, his colleagues on top of the situation. I think he's lying. Sounds like a G minor. See if we can get an A, Colin. <laughs> oh, yes! Ah! I thought you guys were normal. I mean, Holly, your family's fucking nuts. I mean, I didn't even know this fucking place existed. I know that fucking mess now, she doesn't. Dad, I'm bored. He's lying. It's just taking forever. I'm gonna go see if Mum needs any help. Okay, honey. I'll be up soon. Don't miss me. I'm gonna go see what Mum's doing. Catch you later. All right, Holly. So how do you mum for me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, no? Yeah. Sounds beautiful. Why they call it a deadline? You'll get new instructions. Don't call unless you have it. What about Peter? Gabriel. I like better his cell out. Oh, like Genesis. You fucking smarty pants. Oh. <laughs> Soften up his ribs. With pleasure. Fuck. Fuck Fuck Cut him loose. Take him to the tub. What? The tub? It's gonna be my first full body sculpture. The one Benny, my masterpiece. Well, I'm done. I got what I wanted, so let's make a mask. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> My boo-boo's gone. He died all alone by the fire of a gun. Come on, fuck Todd. Tub time. You're now with the other sharing the eternal life. Save this shit. Fucking kill me, you mongrel. Hey! Let's go see Holly. Of all the other boo boos, you were the best. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah! This is for you, Boo Boo.
God. Oh no, I am! He's fucking flicked! I said fucking stop now! What the? Now! Stop it now! Let me go! Jeff, you alright? You okay? Fuck you, I'm okay. Don't check in the clouds. Let me go! Fucking racks in this city, all right? <laughs> fucking ready? So I'm ready. I'm ready. Sit but done. Sun. 
Where the fuck have you been? You should have been here hours ago. Tell me about this. Fuck you. Give it to me. Give me a gun. Slowly. Now, the briefcase. None of your fucking business. <laughs> Not my fucking business. This fucking briefcase is the reason my friend is dead. I got shot, I shot my ex-girlfriend, some of her family, and a fucking dog! So yeah, it's my fucking business. You shot a dog, just don't fucking go there right now. Look, just give it to me, and we'll forget about this. You're a free man. Yeah, with a finger and a slippery trigger. Pretty stupid to shoot a police officer. Oh, I've done pretty fucking stupid shit tonight. And where's Detective Gabriel? Yeah, let's talk about him, shall we? What's he doing at Tony's? Calm down. I mean, why would you send him if you've already sent us? Where is he? He's fucking dead. Dead? What was he doing there? What? What was he doing there? I sent him. Yeah, I know. Why? To make sure you two did your fucking job. You had my fingerprints, right? Enough shit to send me to prison for years. So I started thinking. I know it was an elephant man here. He'd shoot his face if he aimed for his foot. Why by the way? Obviously, get the fuck out of here right now. What if you were just sending us in as cannon fodder? What is this place? This is Tony Keys, the devil himself. He makes art out of the dead. <laughs> you have no fucking idea. What? We are oh, in the deepest shit of the toilet. What about Peter? Gabriel, you fucking smarty pants. Oh. You were just gonna shoot us on the way out of Tony's and grab the briefcase then. He was sneaking through the window. I don't have him. And he shit his pants. No! <laughs> Someone stole the briefcase and I want you to get it back for me. What if you guys were bluffing? What if? You guys aren't even cops. <sighs> Give you Gabriel's half. I want to meet them. Make it happen. It's ringing. Now you're talking. Okay, asshole. Write this down. Who are you? I'm the guy. Who are you? I'm Mrs. Hilliard. Boy, you look like shit. I know. Thanks. Cool tie, though. So, you show me yours, I'll show you mine. A little bit jumpy, are we? Since Mr. Gabriel and Greenley are not here, and I'm assuming we shouldn't wait for them, and Mr. Zen here has the briefcase, he'll be receiving the money of both of them. We're all friends here, all right? I need answers. And I couldn't care less. Mr. Zen, we need the briefcase. You give me something, I give you something. That's how business works. Do you think you can control yourself?
Nevertheless, Greenlee and Gabriel are dead. And you got this from Tony's place. Which I must say is a big thing. And that makes you and I friends. I guess you could say I had a rough night. Humor me. What's with the teddy bear? Nothing. But this? This is leverage. Power in the palm of a hand. You ever notice in the movies, they always seem to know the exact point where something important is heard, and that's where they hit play? No. <laughs> Come on, let's bury the body in the backyard. Fuck this fucking bitch. This is a senator murdering the 13-year-old girl he previously raped with a friend. Great story. But I've got things to do. What's that? Like a lap dance. A big plate of tacos and a meet you later. For starters. We could use someone like you. No, you couldn't. All right. I'm offering you a job. Now you're talking. We'll be in touch. That man's about to have the best meal he ever tasted. Fuck yeah! Walking along the road I want to be Walking along the road if I had to